In chapter 12 of Brave New World, Bernard's popularity evaporates when John the Savage refuses to attend another social event. John speaks in his native Zuni language as a way of rejecting Bernard and the Brave New World of London. The Arch Community songster of Canterbury is outraged, thinking that Bernard has tricked him into attending an event without John. Lenina is also upset. She doesn't understand why John acts as if he likes her, but then avoids being around her. So she leaves the party with the Arch Community songster. Now punctured, deflated, and weeping, Bernard angrily lashes out at John. But John tells him, I'd rather be unhappy than have the sort of false lying happiness that you are having here. Mustafa Mond censors a work he finds interesting, but seditious. Helmholtz proves to be a true friend by joining Bernard and John for evenings of open conversation. But Bernard's jealousy flares when Helmholtz and John slip into a comfortable friendship. Helmholtz shares one of his antisocial poems with John, and John reads from Romeo and Juliet. Helmholtz's delight in the poetic language turns to ridicule at Shakespeare's view of love. Friendship and human connection are the focus of this chapter, seen in part through the emotional reactions of John, Bernard, and Helmholtz. Importantly, we see John shift angrily away from Bernard and toward the more philosophical Helmholtz. Bernard's fame is fleeting. Once the intoxication of his success has evaporated, he finds a true friend in Helmholtz who forgives and accepts Bernard despite his callous behavior. Bernard's jealousy is a sign of his rebellion, showing an emotional connection to Helmholtz and John. The chapter ends with a clash of ideas between John and Helmholtz. Despite the strong connection between them, Helmholtz's appreciation of Shakespeare goes only so far.